Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to the Canada Pavilion in World Showcase at Epcot, coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free, inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at Epcot. The Canada Pavilion is a Canadian themed pavilion that is part of World Showcase within Epcot at the Walt Disney World Resort. Experienced the diverse culture and untamed wilderness of our northern neighbor, which includes native Indian villages, a French inspired chateau, and the Scottish influence of the Maritimes. Victoria Gardens is inspired by the spectacular Butchart Gardens of British Columbia. These gardens are a reminder and reflection of horticulture as a work of art and a labor of love. The magnificent Canadian Rockies are also featured complete with boulders and a stream that rushes into a waterfall. The Canada Pavilion centerpiece is the Victorian style Hotel du Canada and it was inspired by the Chateau Laurier, a historic hotel found in Ottawa. Up ahead is Spaceship Earth, but over to the right hand side is Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Oh look, there's Mickey. Hi Mickey. And Minnie. Hello Minnie. Now let's follow this temporary construction pathway down to World Showcase. Take a look at this beautiful flower mural that leads all the way down to World Showcase. But Flower and Garden Festival only goes till July 5th. You better act soon. Here's Starbucks, but we're gonna follow the pathway around the corner to the right hand side. Canada, you're a lifetime journey for the traveler. Taste of Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. Over on the right hand side is Northern Bloom. And on the opposite side are tables that overlook World Showcase Lagoon. So you could enjoy your dishes from the food booths. Look at this guy here. Here's the menu offerings. Northern Bloom offers seared scallops. They also have beef tenderloin tips and a griddled maple pound cake. Over to the left hand side is the queue entrance. Where you walk past the Disney Vacation Club. Then you follow the pathway around the corner to the register queue. And here's a quick look at the serving area. Canada, far and wide, in Circle Vision 360. Over to the left hand side is the maple popcorn kiosk. Let's see what's on the menu. The popcorn kiosk in Canada has some snacks, like a popcorn souvenir bucket, a popcorn bucket refill, a regular popcorn, and also a maple popcorn. There's also a Canada-inspired merchandise kiosk where you can purchase Minnie Mouse ear headbands. They also have a various assortment of Canadian-style t-shirts. They also have beer on ice with popular Canadian brands. On the lagoon side is the festival market. It's a Disney pin shopping location. Here's a north of the border fun photo spot. But if you look over to the left hand side, there's the mill stage. With the Jaminators. The Jaminators are so much fun. Here are the show times for the Jaminators. Let's head up to the second level and see what there is to discover. If you're more comfortable using the ramp, there's one just around the corner. Northwest Mercantile. But as it turns out, the sign says, sorry, we are closed. Next door is the trading post. Inside, the shops connect to each other. But this shop door is also temporarily unavailable. There might even be a hidden Mickey in the totem pole. Look carefully just under the left elbow. You can see the hidden Mickey. And on the other side are a couple of totem poles. 
This totem pole represents the story of the eagle and the beaver. There's also another totem pole. This time, it has the story of the tail of the whale. Towering overhead is the Hotel du Canada. You have the option of traversing the steps or taking this ramp here. La Celia is right down there. Let's continue going up. Over to the left hand side is the ramp that goes down. And way off in the distance is World Showcase Lagoon. There are so many hidden gems to discover. There's also a telephone booth. I need to make a quick phone call. Is Celine Dion here? There's the majestic Niagara Falls. It's time to head down the steps to go see Canada far and wide in Circle Vision 360, narrated by Catherine O'Hara and Eugene Levy. Canada far and wide in Circle Vision 360. Get ready for a breathtaking look at the Great White North. Disney recently announced the closure of Canada far and wide indefinitely on June 27th. No reason was stated. But during the 2019 Food and Wine Festival, the interior theater was used for a food booth location. Let's proceed through these doors into the pre-show. That's themed like a mine shaft. There's about 10 minutes until showtime. Canada has remained a cultural mosaic a place where you can keep and nurture your language and traditions while embracing the future. We begin on the East Coast in Nova Scotia with one of our true Canadian treasures, the Blue Nose. She not only looks impressive, she can move too. Just west of Montreal is our nation's capital city, Ottawa, a city of museums, festivals, and celebrations. Niagara Falls is another. And as any self-respecting Canadian will tell you, our falls are bigger than the American falls. But they're both really spectacular. That's true. Let's move on to our third region, the Prairie Provinces. With the Rocky Mountains on one side and the prairies on the other, Calgary is absolutely gorgeous. Now grab your coats, because we're heading toward the snowy peaks of Whistler. At Whistler Mountain, you'll find opportunities for almost every winter sport imaginable. Say, are you a fan of heliskiing? Heli, yes. As long as I'm not the one doing it. Our fifth and final region is the North. Divided into Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. For countless generations of families, this majestic home has provided a traditional lifestyle. Well, that's just a glimpse of our Canada, far and wide. We hope you know now why we love it so much. Not just for the natural beauty, but for the people who make it so special. And the best way to really know this country is to experience it yourself. So come visit our Canada. We'd, We'd love, love to, to have, have you. You're a lifetime journey for the traveler. Canada. Those are the doors that we just came out of. At the Kid Caught Fun Stop, there's Discovery Fun for little ones. They could participate in a fun discovery experience collecting activity cards at each country throughout World Showcase. 
They could also pick up a memorable memento with facts and activities featuring the culture and traditions of each country. Rustic theming is everywhere you look around here. Anybody up for some canoeing? Below the mountain is the exit for the show. You could also walk down this pathway to the show. Adjacent to the theater's exit is the La Cellier Steakhouse. It's the wine cellar below Hotel du Canada. Here's the menu offerings. La Cellier has entrees like a ribeye steak, USDA Prime, a New York strip steak, also USDA Prime, a La Cellier filet mignon, a steamed Asian impossible dumplings, and the sustainable fish. Let's go inside and take a look. And here's the check-in podium. There's the wine storage room, and if you look carefully, there's a hidden Mickey made up of wine bottles. Around the corner is a ramp. Remember the windows that we saw from above? Here they are. Let's head down the ramp to the wine cellar. Le Cellier is the signature dining restaurant and one of the most popular dining venues to enjoy an amazing steak. Be sure to make advanced dining reservations. Let's head out the exit door. Above is the elevated section that we just came from. Check out this little bridge. And the magnificent Victoria Gardens. Oh, how cute. There's Thumper there in the grass. Let's continue walking down this pathway, back to World Showcase Lagoon, and back under the sign. Now, how do I get out of here? Because I have a fast pass for Soren. Hate to miss it. Let's swing over to the left-hand side and take this pathway back to Spaceship Earth in Future World. We're back. Prepare to fast forward through time and space. Back at the main entrance again, we've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of the Canada Pavilion just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.